Hey guys, so this is my early 1900s uh, Richards Wilcox 7 inch quick release wood vise. Um, I'm in the process of restoring it. I'm about to turn down a new handle and make the jaw pads. Um, I'm probably going to use this material actually. I think it's like a mahogany or eucalyptus or something, but I'm not sure. It's a dense hardwood. Anyway, uh, I just finished uh, putting a clear gloss, co clear coat on it, gloss finish. Um, I was going to repaint it the original uh, color, which I think was a light gray. I'm not sure. So I did a little bit of research on it uh, and I came across a number of threads where people were really having issues with this half nut. They weren't sure how it was supposed to go together once I took it apart. They didn't know how it operated, uh, if they could disengage it and so forth. So I thought I would do just a really quick video showing you guys how this thing works. And then if you want to disengage it, how to do that. Uh, and just some of the other things to be mindful of if you're going to do a restoration on this. So let me show you how this thing works really quick. Uh, it's pretty smart actually. So it's a gravity, it operates um, using gravity and a brass half nut. So you see the brass half nut here. There's a bar that's in this housing. This housing gets mounted to the bench. Uh, and you have this cast iron side, uh, which basically is allows the brass nut to hinge. And there's a little weight here. And so as you rotate clockwise, or to tighten it, you rotate this around. Uh, gravity causes the half nut to fall down and engage onto the threads. And then as you rotate further, there's a bar here and a taper on the brass half nut which basically squeezes the brass half nut further into the Acme thread. And so it just tightens it tightens the whole system down so you have full thread engagement here. Uh, and then you just tighten it down and that's it. Then when you go to unlock it, there's no reverse. You can't go counterclockwise and then wide open up the jaws. It, once you go in reverse or counterclockwise, it immediately engages the quick release and then it, everything stops moving. So as you rotate counterclockwise, you see friction carries this over, there's a hinge point here and here for the half nut, and gravity causes the half nut to fall away from the threads, and then there's a little nub that sticks up on this brass half nut that engages with the bar and causes it to flip further away. So you can see here, it flips all the way out. So it doesn't, see how it kind of just drops away? And then, so you can't, you can't open this up. So once, as soon as that is disengaged, then this is just free to slide. So you really have, uh, it's totally smooth, and once you want to tighten it, it goes into engagement, and then when you want to loosen it, it loosens and then disengages this whole assembly. So it's a pretty cool mechanism. I think the Lee Nielsen uses a, a similar system on, on their front vise. Um, the only other consideration uh, to keep in mind when you, if you're going to restore one of these is that I, I don't know about the long-term durability of these. I've heard about these things cracking and people having problems. Uh, so I think part of that has to do with the fact that this is the original lever here, handle. Uh, and you can see it's pretty short. And I mean, it's not that much longer than the seven inch width jaw. So maybe, maybe seven and a half, eight inches. And so I think what people are doing is these things break, they install new handles and they're just installing handles that are just way too long that are allowing you to just get way too much leverage on this thing and I think people are just cranking it down too tightly and breaking the breaking either the housing here um, the cast the, the cast iron section or the half nut but anyway that's just something to keep in mind is is you don't want to make that thing too long stock one I think is from end to end not including the uh, ball ends that keep it from falling out I don't know maybe 10 overall inches uh, and yeah, you do not want to use oil on this. It even tells you right here, do not oil, use no oil on screw. Uh, whoever had owned this vice before me did, they were oiling this. And what basically what happens is it just becomes a magnet for just dirt and grime. And you end up creating a slurry, an abrasive slurry on this. So every time you're rotating it back and forth, you're abrading the brass half nut. This one was in really, really good condition. I don't think this thing was really used. Uh, but you can imagine years of opening and closing that against, you know, a, a sandpaper slurry. You're going to wear down that half nut and just decrease the life. Um, the other thing is you can't open it, you know, like I was saying, you can't widen the jaws by going counterclockwise. Unlike something like, like this record vise here that, that I'm going to be replacing it with. 
that the real cocks are going to be replacing. So here you can see you can open and you know open and close it like this. You cannot do that with that wheel cock. As soon as you go counterclockwise, the jaws will stall, and then you just pull it open. Um, but I think I think I'm going to prefer the other mechanism. Uh, I do like this vice. I don't really have any complaints about it, but. Uh, there's just something about this super, super old stuff that uh, I just really enjoy. So anyway, that's how the quick release system works on these old vices with the drop nut. Uh, yeah, hopefully that helps some of you that may be in the process of restoring it. If you run across one, grab it. Uh, this thing was basically headed for the dump. It was just one piece of just like hardened, just covered in rust. Wouldn't move, everything was frozen up. Uh, and I took the time to strip it down and soak it and, and uh, paint it and you can see this thing works phenomenally. It's gonna, it's gonna be great. So there it is, a Richard Wilcox quick release 7 inch vice. Thanks guys.